Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you one more important short answer question for your TSIP first year examination. And the question is define vector product. Define vector product, explain the properties of vectors with two examples. What is a vector product? A vector product of two vectors A bar and B bar is also a vector. That is the vector product A bar cross B bar also a vector. A bar cross B bar also gives us a vector. As we use cross here, this vector product is also known as cross product. The vector product is also known as cross product. The cross product of two vectors is also a vector. For example, if we have a plane in which the vector A bar and B bar contains. Okay, this plane contains the vectors A bar and B bar. The direction of this vector C bar is given by the unit vector, given by the unit vector that is N cap. Okay, and this vector C bar will be perpendicular to the plane which contains A bar and B bar. Okay, the vector product A bar cross B, B bar can also be written as A B sin theta N cap. A B sin theta N cap which is equal to C bar. The product of the magnitude of these two vectors into sin theta where theta is the angle between these two vectors and n cap is the unit vector where n cap is the unit vector which gives us the direction of the vector c bar okay this unit vector gives us the direction of this vector c bar and this vector c bar will be perpendicular to the plane which contains the vectors a bar and b bar see the magnitude of the vectors c bar is equal to the magnitude of the two vectors and the sign of the angle between them right the magnitude of the vector c bar the magnitude of this vector c bar is given as c which is equal to which is equal to the magnitude of the two vectors the product of the magnitude this will be the product actually the product of the magnitude of the two vectors that is a into b the product of the magnitude of the vectors a bar and b bar a bar ki b bar ki magnitude enti na na a and b okay uh, the magnitude of the vector c bar is equal to product of the magnitude of these vectors and sine of the angle between them and sine of the angle that is sine theta where theta is the angle between these two vectors okay and coming to the properties of vector product properties of vector product properties of vector product first one is the cross product cross product does not obey does not obey commutative law commutative law That is, A bar cross B bar will not be equal to B bar cross A bar. For example, we have a plane. This plane contains the vectors A bar and B bar. This is the vector A bar and this is the vector B bar. And the vector C bar will be perpendicular to this plane. Okay. And theta is the angle between these two vectors. If if the direction of the vector a bar is from a to b is from a to b then this vector c bar is equal to a bar cross b bar okay if the direction of this vector b bar is from b to a then the vector b c bar is equal to minus of minus of b bar cross a bar okay 
from this equations this a bar cross b bar is equal to minus of b bar cross a bar this minus sign indicates the direction this minus sign indicates the direction of these vectors okay as the vector product a cross b is opposite to the direction of the b cross a the cross product doesn't obey commutative law okay and coming to the second property vector product vector product obeys distributive law distributive law distributive law with respect to with respect to vector addition vector addition this can be written as a cross of a bar cross of b bar plus c bar okay the vector product with respect to vector addition that means the product between the vectors and the addition between vectors okay the product of the vectors with the vector addition obeys distributive law this can be written as a cross b a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar okay and coming to the next property vector product vector product of two parallel vectors of two parallel vectors of two parallel vectors is a null vector is a null vector that means if both the vectors a bar and b bar are parallel to each other then the angle between these two vectors will be equal to zero therefore sin zero will be equal to zero sin zero will be equal to zero then the vector product of these two parallel vectors will be equal to zero this is known as null vector null vector null vector means the magnitude of the vector will be equal to zero okay whenever the angle between these two vectors is equal to zero or if the two vectors are parallel to each other then the vector product of these two vectors will be equal to null vector okay and coming to the next property vector product vector product between two vectors between two vectors is maximum is maximum when when theta is equal to 90 degrees here the vector product between two vectors is minimum when theta is equal to 0 degrees right and the vector product will be maximum when theta is equal to 90 degrees we know that that a cross b the vector product between two vectors will be equal to a b sin theta n cap right if you substitute theta equals to 90 degrees then we have this a a bar cross b bar is equal to a b n cap where sin 90 degrees is equal to 1 since sin 90 degrees is equal to 1 the vector product of a and b will be equal to a b n cap okay one more point is as the vector product of two parallel vectors the vector product of two parallel vectors is equal to 0 is equal to 0 then the vector product of the vector product of two unit vectors will be equal to 0 cap m denote just then it is a unit vector and it denote just that okay this unit vector always gives the direction of the vectors okay the, therefore i i cross i equals to 0 j cross j j cap cross j cap is equal to 0 and k cap cross k cap will be equal to 0 and 
i cap cross j cap will be equal to k cap why because why because if a plane contains two vectors if a plane contains two vectors and the product vector product of these two vectors will be perpendicular to the plane right if this is i cap and this is j cap the perpendicular vector is a k cap okay and j cap cross i cap will be equal to minus k cap okay if this is the cyclic form you have to remember this is a cyclic form it is a trick to remember the cross product of ij gives you k the cross product of j and k gives you i the cross product of j k gives you i okay and the cross product of k i the cross product of k cap i cap is equal to j cap okay this is a cyclic form if you if you do the cross product in opposite direction that is i cap cross k cap i cap cross k cap gives you minus j cap minus j cap why because the direction is opposite to the cyclic direction right and the cross product of k cap cross j cap gives you minus i cap and the cross product of j cap cross i cap i cap gives you k cap minus k cap gives you minus k cap and coming to the examples angular momentum angular momentum angular momentum is a cross product is a cross product is a cross product of position vector position vector and linear momentum linear momentum okay where the angular momentum is denoted with l and the, as it is a vector this will be equal to the cross product of the cross product of position vector position vector is denoted with r bar the cross product of r bar and p bar where p bar is the linear momentum the cross product of two vectors is also a vector and coming to one more example torque torque is a torque is a cross product cross product of the position vector the position vector cross product of the position vector r bar and force force f bar force is also a vector and position vector is also a vector so the cross product of r bar cross f bar gives you a torque which is denoted with the tau torque is a vector the vector product of position vector and force gives you the torque these are the examples for vector products and here i will end our lecture whoever didn't subscribe to my channel please click on subscribe button and also share with maximum number of people okay bye